Okay, Adam, I'm going to show you uh, how to figure out where the holes are going to go in your new gearboxes. Now, you're going to need certain tools for this, bro, and that's going to be one of your biggest holdups is your lack of tools. I mean, this is a hobby, and you're going to need certain tools and equipment if you're going to keep going in this hobby. And, and there's just nothing I can do about that, man. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. Now, you're going to need something that will take decent measurements. I use a pair of calipers. Now, this is a cheap $10 pair from Harbor Freight, which are going to be okay for this demonstration. But if it was my gearboxes, and when I did do it on my gearboxes, I used my Mitutoyo calipers, which cost me 100 bucks a pair. But uh, this is how I do it. And, you know, what you want to do is up to you. But what we're going to do, this is going to represent the new gearboxes. All right, it's just a gearbox side, but it's got the bottom. It's going to represent the new gearboxes where you want to put the holes. This is going to represent your stock gearboxes with the plastic gears in it. Okay, you're going to take your stock gearbox. You're going to turn it over. You're going to decide on a point that you're going to call zero. Okay, now when I did it, I used this corner is what I did. This corner is zero. And then I took my calipers and I measured from this edge to this edge okay now you do that then you also have to measure the inside diameter of the hole all right you measure the inside diameter of the hole write it down okay then you measure the distance from here to here you take the diameter of the hole you divide it by two and you add it to this dimension and that's the distance from the edge of this plate to the center of that hole so let's just say it's 10 millimeters, that that's what it works out to. Let's say we got a 2 millimeter hole, and it's 9 millimeters from the edge of the hole to the edge of the uh, steel. So 9 millimeters plus half of our 2 millimeter hole is 10 millimeters. So now we know that's 10 millimeters from there to there, and you can transfer that measurement over to this gearbox. You do the same thing with the other uh, direction. Um, to me, this is Y and X axis. Now, we've already determined our Y. We have to determine the distance for X, and you do it the same way. You already know the uh, diameter of this hole, so you divide that in half, write it down, and then you add that figure to whatever your measurement right here is. Let's say it's 4 millimeters. We knew we had a 2 millimeter hole, so 4 millimeters plus 1 millimeter is 5 millimeters. So that hole would be 10 millimeters down and 5 millimeters over from the edge. You'll probably uh, be much better off if you can find some kind of square to use. Um, if you have calipers, that's a square right there. If you put the caliper against the side, this is now square to the side of the gearbox, and I can use it for marking uh, where I want to drill my holes. So that's how you do it, buddy. That's how you transfer your hole placement from one set of gearboxes to the other. You find your zero. You get your Y and your or your X and your Y measurements to your existing holes, and then you transfer those measurements to your new gearbox using the same point as zero, and then you drill the holes. And uh, that's how I did it. Worked great for me. That's how you'll do it. Your biggest obstacle is going to be tools, buddy. But like I said, there's nothing I can do about it for you there. Unfortunately, you're on your own with that one. So I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.